Hey guys, so I just came back from church on Friday night service and the topic today for the sermon was Noah's Ark. And I really liked one of the points that the speaker gave, which was that they spent one year and 10 days in the Ark and so they needed enough food to survive. And he linked that to how we need enough spiritual food in church to survive today. I was really excited about that point, but then he went on to explain how the cause of people not having enough spiritual food is that they are too selective in what they want to listen to. And he quoted 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, about how people turn away from sound doctrine and turn away from the truth. I think that that could be one reason that people don't get enough spiritual food. You know, maybe they're, they don't want to, they want to listen to heresy or uh, things that just are not true. But I think there's other reasons. They might not benefit from certain sermons or Bible studies because they have different needs. And they may have different needs in terms of delivery, in terms of content. But that's not something that should be blamed on them necessarily. And I think it's something we should acknowledge that people do have different needs. Next, we also hear a lot about how there's an infinite amount of things you can get from reading the Bible that we can extract from certain passages. People say that you can read a passage again and then get something new out of it every single time. And if that's true, if people are going to hold by that claim, then we should be getting new and deeper teachings for our Bible studies, for our sermons. But for me, I feel like a lot of the time it kind of plateaus to a certain level where we're not able to get more out of it. I think it could be due to several things. First, maybe people are not really taking the extra step to go into deeper study. Um, second, maybe there is something finite. Third, it could be it's also a cultural issue. I think that there's a lot of apathy behind studying the Bible and if you reach a point where you are very interested in studying the Bible and learning more and going deeper but nobody else is, then you'll really feel like there's really no point in doing that because you try to share with other people and then nobody else is interested. People are just okay with whatever they have right now. And so if there's this culture, if there's no interest, if church doesn't have resources to help you go deeper in terms of spiritual food you receive, there's not the right delivery and content of what you need, from the sermons and Bible studies, etc., then it's like Noah's Ark, but there's not enough food in there to survive. And that causes a problem where it's very hard to retain members, and then it's hard to bring people in because if you bring them in and you know that there's not enough food inside, then it's almost like leading sheep to the slaughter. Because I feel like a lot of the time the blame is put on the member. Like you don't try hard enough, you don't pray hard enough, you don't have the right heart. But really, I think the responsibility is shared between the church in terms of the church leadership and also the members. I absolutely agree that we should have the right heart, that everybody should try their best and put their effort in there. But I think that even when people do put their effort and put their heart into it, they're not really guaranteed the results of you know, getting the spiritual food, etc. And then they'll wonder, oh, then what's wrong? And at that point, they shouldn't be feeling guilt toward themselves because I think there's other ways that things can be improved. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts. Feel free to share your comments below and thanks for watching, bye.